contemporary art globally speaking and we're interviewing terry gibbs and hi terry how are you i'm fine and what is the name of your exhibition here at the milton art museum it is called framing the wild wonderful do you want to tell us about it sure uh, the idea of the title came from trying to make a statement about these very wild chaotic subject matter the roots and the, the seaweed and birds nests and so forth and then putting them inside a frame and then even subdividing many of the large pieces into uh, a grid like unit or grid like um, structure of several frames okay okay can you tell us anything more about it well, um, I, I, yeah, I go back to when I first started working on this. Um, it was when my um, mother, who lived with me during the last few years of her life, had a series of small strokes, and I was, um, you know, taking care of her and trying to understand how those affected her and how her brain was working because she had this an amazing ability to come back, mm -hmm. and the, the doctors, the neurologists, said, "Oh God, her." brain seems to re rebuild itself in an amazing way so anyway so I started looking at brains and reading about them and trying to understand oh, connect interesting. connections and synapses and the nodes of the brain and um, dendrites and all those yeah. things and and of course there's been so much work in imaging the brain in the last um, decade really but it's just powerful imagery if you've looked at any of it and uh, oh yes and uh, so I thought gosh that's so hard to understand what all's going on but what's kind of amazing is that those images of the brain look like some things from nature that I look at the chaotic patterns of, of plants and roots and vines and things that are made up of a lot of linear things that are twisted together and you have trouble following them and sorting them out and untangle, untangling them. And so at any rate, so then I started thinking, well, let me look some more at these um, natural forms. And um, I, I can't remember what inspired me to put one on the scanner. All of the images or all of the materials that are photographed in this um, exhibition are the size of my hand or smaller, and the uh, finished works are up to uh, several feet in each dimension. So I put, I think the first one was roots, um, perhaps this one, the one I called remembering, and I put the roots of this plant, which is a weed out of the garden called amaranth. Um, it's actually not totally a weed, but we think of it as a weed. At any rate, so this little chunk of root, about the size of my hand, I put it on the scanner and scanned it and was just amazed by what I could see when I then put it on my computer screen. I have a fairly good sized computer screen because I could see a whole lot more than I could see just by looking at it. Um, a lot like a magnifying glass and of course I've been interested in science and technology and nature and we all know that you know the f microscope opened up worlds the telescope opened up new worlds and I thought well okay here's the scanner um, that can get such beautiful resolution and from ordinary materials that I just flop down on the scanner hopefully not too much dirt and water and everything else and so so I began throwing all kinds of things on the scanner I would go to um, the beach or the marsh where I live um, in Wellfleet on the mm -hmm. Cape and bring back some seaweed put it back in water try to flatten it out and get most of the sand out and then I would lay it down <clears throat> on the flatbed scanner. It's just a, a kind of ordinary Epson scanner that's, uh, you know, moderately good one, but nothing yeah. super fancy. And scan it, and sometimes they were not interesting, and sometimes they were interesting. And I, Wonderful. I could, um, the cover of the scanner would allow for, oh, maybe up to half an inch of thickness, because I could lift up the scanner and and so I didn't have to squish everything totally flat. 
Interesting, interesting. Well, Terry, I love your work. Beautiful, beautiful. And how long is this exhibition taking place here at the museum? It'll be up through November 27th. Here at the Milton Art Museum. Yeah. Terry Gibbs, thank you so very much. Well, you're welcome.